I'm working on a new painting today. This is going to be on the coast of France. The Côte d'Azur. And it's going to be a little terrace overlooking the ocean. There's going to be a couple of, a couple of chairs and a table and a bottle of wine and wine glasses. Just a nice, romantic, restful setting. Just go sit there and listen to the waves and sip wine with the person you love. Anyway, in this corner, I'm going to have nasturtiums. So I'm using my mixture of mud, which is ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson. And I mix a lot of liquid into that to make a wash. And that's what I use to draw up my basic plan on the canvas. I just kind of indicate where my flowers are going to be. And the nasturtiums have a round leaf, which is going to be a nice contrast to the other leaves. I have heart-shaped leaves back here draping out of this pot with the sweet potato vine. And I'm going to have a big uh, giant bird of paradise here that has long, long leaves. So this gives a nice contrast. And it, it it's kind of a drapey flower. It sends out little lines and, and everything. So it's a really pretty, pretty flower and, and just a nice, nice contrast. Gives variety within the foliage. And I label this so that I'll remember once I get to painting. Sometimes I forget and I just start throwing color up there and then it's not the right thing. So N A S T U R T I. U M. Then we'll have some cosmos or something, some, some kind of daisies or something in here that'll be taller. And then this is a little, uh, little spiky magenta lavender colored flower. Some lavender, but it's going to go instead of the blue lavender, it's going to go more toward a red lavender. I'm going to mix magenta into that. Now I'm going to work on the Big Bird of Paradise, which comes up in here. It has like trunks. This gives me a tall, tall dark. The light's going to be coming in from the right side of the painting. So you want a tall, dark, upright, to stop the light, to stop your eye and throw it back into the painting. And these curved leaves of the giant bird of paradise just gracefully curve your eye back into the, into the painting. Again, I just indicate where they're going to go. We lived on Longboat Key in Florida, which is on the coast south of Tampa St. Petersburg and it's a little barrier island off of Sarasota and there were lots of these big birds of paradise and I just love them. They're such a beautiful, beautiful, I guess, tree or I'm not sure if you call it a tree or a bush or I guess they're, but they're a little different than regular birds of paradise which we're having on the left side of the painting. They're your typical uh, birds of paradise with the yellow, the bird-shaped head flowers of, with the yellow petals and all. These, I'm not gonna have any flowers on. They typically have a big white flower, but we're not gonna put any flowers on these. We're just gonna use them for the foliage and as a nice dark to direct your eye back into the painting. I don't need to label those because I, I can pretty well tell what those are supposed to be. Label my daisies. And this wash I just mix again. It's my mud, which is ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson, and then I add quite a bit of liquid into it. And I can make a thin wash that I put up. 
The nice thing about this, I've primed the canvas with white acrylic. So I can go back and lift up. It's real easy to just lift that up. I can erase that off of my canvas. And that's what I, that's, that's what I use to sketch all of my basic plan on the canvas. And after it dries, it's, it's there. And then I can come and paint back over. But that gives me a road map to follow as I'm painting. I thank you for watching my YouTube videos. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and please visit my blog. The address is on the last frame of the YouTube video and in my blog I show the step-by-step -step process of my painting, this one and also all of the others I do. And it's you can subscribe to that also. You'll receive an email every time I put up a new post. So again, thank you for following along. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments section. And you have a great, great day. Happy painting.